fighter Nelson Mandela is quoted as having said, there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than how it treats its children. The greeting from the tribe of Maasai still stands. Caesarea Ungere, how are the children? For the well-being of the children is a guide to the well-being of our communities, the well-being of our churches, the well-being of our country, indeed the well-being of this world. Neighbors in Need this year is all about the children, for our children are still not well. When we live in a nation where 18% of children live in poverty, the children are not well. When we live in a nation where 2.5 million children are without shelter, no safe place to lay their head, the children are not well. When we live in a nation where 11 million children go to bed hungry every night, our children are not well. When we live in a nation where over 69,000 children were caged at our borders last year, our children are not well. Caesarea Ungeri, how are our children? Neighbors in Need makes possible the work that you do on a local church level to improve the lives of our children. Through your generous donations, we are able to provide programming and resources for local churches who are on the ground level of providing support through food, shelter, mentoring, and more services than we can name to help sustain the joy and the viability of our country's most vulnerable citizens, our children. When you give, when I give, when we give together, our collective efforts help support the work of the national setting in policy and advocacy work to the benefit of our children. When you give and I give and we give together, your dollars allow us to provide grants to organizations and to local churches who are making a difference in the life of our children. We owe it to them to leave them a world that is better than the world we received. We owe it to them to fight for their rights so that every child may be respected and loved for who they have been created to be. We owe it to them that they shall have food in their bellies and shelter and a place to lay their heads. We owe it to them that they should have health care, not just when they're sick, but so that they don't get sick. We owe it to our children. So I'm asking you to dig deep and to give to neighbors in need. For how we treat our neighbor says much about how we feel about God. And how we treat our children says much about how we will treat God. Join me this year in sacrificial giving on behalf of our children. They are not our future. They are our now. God bless you.